All right. We're live. We're on. It's, well, not live. At this moment, we're live. Oh, yeah, we are. It's just, it's really zoomed out. We're zoomed out yeah. so far, but well, we're no. still live at the moment. So, it, hi, welcome to the new studio. We're in a new studio. Studio B. Studio B, yes, yeah. we'll go with Studio B. Yeah, it's still getting put together, but that's but, uh, why we didn't do this last week. Yes, we were busy moving into the new studio, building, actually, the new studio. Mm-hmm. We cut down trees. Many trees died. Many trees and bothans. Many bothans. We actually made the floor with uh, bothans. Yeah, it's it's literally just pure bothan floor. So when you see Pergo. bothans mating, are they, at that point, are they boffin bothans? Are they boff? I see what you did there. See what I, did I there? see what you did there. See, this is why our this is why our guest probably isn't going to show up. <clears throat> He's going to be here. I tweeted him. He's going to be here. We have a special guest, hopefully arriving sometime during the next. He's going to be hour. here. It's going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Now, if you're nailing a bothan, you would be boffin a bothan. Well, of course you would. See, so. This isn't going to translate well through the mics. You know what I mean? Like both with th versus both. There's still an emphasis though. Emphasis. Emphasis, because I mean I'm not nothing against bothans. I think they're really a cool race. I mean, do, do you even know what they look like? I like, don't I have, have no, no idea. idea what a fucking Star Wars bothan is. I'm sorry, but, but I'd hit one. I'd do it. You'd hit the. You'd I'd hit one. Really nail it. Yeah. Wow, what that's was, bold. You haven't even seen it. You don't even know what they're like. You, you just, just know they died. For, but they died for a good cause, so that makes them worthy to bone. Oh my god! It's, it's like it's kind of noble, but piggish in the same fucking sentence. Noble boning. Noble boning. Oh god! That's a, go. is that a band name? No, it should be noble Boff, boning. I think Boffin Boffins could be a band name. Boffin Bothins. Everyone would call him BB. No, they would. No, I don't. The no. millennials. No, would. they would. Not nothing against those fucking, fucking millennials. 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 Speaking of millennials. The hottest thing in the news right now is that fucking weird ass Jenner Pepsi, Pepsi commercial. commercial. I don't get it. What, what's her first name again? Kendall. Kendall, Kendall. Jenner. Yeah. That's such a weird ass commercial. Kendall, isn't it like a car wax or car part place too? I have no idea. I, I, well, this this weird video is Pepsi. I, I don't even know what the fuck they're going for here, but it's like this rally that's going on for it's peace. It's like a, or, a melting pot of yeah. of uh, not. Not, not peace, not necessarily. Not, well, they were holding not, peace, not peace signs, right? But, They're yeah. meant to be protesting. But I mean, you had a mix of Black Lives Matter. You had a mix of yeah, Black Lives Matter. You had Muslims. You had, um, you had like uh, the, the Women's March. And it was then like you had a, the Gay March gay type March, thing yeah. going on. It was like on, a melting had, pot of protest. Oh, yeah. And it, it was weird. Like, it, it didn't, you could tell they were really trying to be like diverse. Yeah, diverse. And they were really trying to say something and it said nothing. It really didn't in the end to say anything aside from the fact that they're trying I, I think what I got out of it is they're trying to get everybody to um protest more efficiently. And everybody through, through Pepsi? No, and, no, no. And they want Jenner. people to protest efficiently so all the groups should get together and protest. You know, together. We like, may have our differences, but we all enjoy Pepsi. Nobody likes no, fucking Pepsi. This has nothing to do with Pepsi for, for me. It's just they want everybody to protest in one group. Pepsi does? Yeah. Pepsi wants everyone yeah. to protest and, and, in one group. But uh, you know what? I think it's fair, though, that you got Black Lives Matter, you've got um, uh, gay awareness, you've got uh, the Muslim. Yep. And then you've got... Uh, the Muslim. There, one there Muslim. was literally one. one Muslim in it. There yeah, was. Sure, sure. And yeah. she got angry and threw her shit around. <laughs> yeah, but then she was happy when uh, so a random cop got handed a Pepsi. Yeah. And she, she wanted to film that. It was so weird. It like, was it's... bizarre. But you know what? If we're gonna if we're going for true diversity and you want all the groups to protest as one group, then you know you got to be okay if the KKK decides to get in there and uh, Westboro Baptist. Oh, yeah. So that's that's what that you know I saw that commercial I was thinking God we need more white supremacists Oh yeah that was the first thing uh, on my mind yeah. No but I mean if we're I I think if we're going for protest efficiency Yeah pers- every- <laughs> yeah If anything that commercial brought us all together to hate the commercial as one selective or one yeah, collective Well the internet's of people. kind of blowing up on that too I guess people Oh it's are, just so dumb isn't people are saying what the fuck What well, you know what that was it was one big virtue signal Ah. It's fuck it, but Pepsi. We talked about that Pepsi. on the last. Catch the drink, wave. Pepsi. Catch the or wave. No, Holy, yeah, that, that was Coke. Was it? Yeah. Yep. That was Coke because that was Max Hedrum. Oh shit! What was what was, uh, what was Pepsi? I don't know. Pepsi's garbage. Wave. Pepsi sucks. 
Pepsi's okay. I mean, it's <laughs> it's okay if you like a really sweet pop. It's like yeah. um, the difference between I always equate <laughs> the how I differentiated between Coke and Pepsi is uh, Coke was like the more serious soft drink. Yeah. It's like it, it takes yeah. itself. Well, you seriously. put cocaine in it in the early days. It's pretty serious. I know. We mi- always. Mi- I miss the good stuff. I miss the goddamn ball pit. Mm-hmm. I miss the fucking big wheels, and I miss the cocaine in the in the, the coke. The fucking cocaine. You miss ball pits. I yeah. I I was just a too year. Old. Yeah, just a year too late. Oh um, man, ball pits were great. They were just you just wanted to lick all the balls in there. I, they're all full of germs. Mmm, ball germs. I don't think I'd. Uh, <laughs> that that happened. That just happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, licking the balls in the ball pit. No, ball that pits sounds, were great. As that a sounds kid. like something that would happen at like Ground Zero, the S and M bar, or what? A downtown. Yeah, there's a place called uh, Ground Zero. On Thursday night, it turns into like an S and M bar, and they do Ooh. all kinds of crazy shit. I mean, like you have people who dress up and come to live the life, and then you have the spectators, and spectators can go in a certain area to observe. But they can't go into the deeper area where the participants go to play. Pegging. Uh, I don't. No, I think they have to keep it somewhat, um, somewhat clean. Okay. It can. I mean, you want to get spanked, you want to get whipped. They can. They, they'll do that. Chains. But you got to keep your genitalia exposure at a minimum. I think. At a minimum. I love how it's not. You don't have to keep them in, but you know you really should. We just you should bring them out every once in a while. We can see the shaft of mm-hmm. the penis. Why, why no are more all the than, S&M people no all more, men? No more of an inch of, of shaft, penis shaft, mm-hmm. but we can't see the head or the testicles. Well, wh- why aren't women at this place too? Yes, but they we can see kind of the part of their boob, but not the nipple. Oh, ooh, okay, so gotcha. So you can see that. All right. And you can see part of the groin as long as the labia is not exposed. I was going to say, because breasts are not part of genitalia. Well... Uh, by hypocrisy, hypocritical standards, they are. Wow! It, it, fuck! What? It, come on! Oh yeah! But technically, they're not. <clears throat> no, I. You know, yeah. they're not. Yeah. I agree with you. But according to the hypocrisy of uh, the laws of the land, mm-hmm. yes, you can't show those. How dare you show a nipple? You oh can my show God. everything else. Men but can not show. A nipple. Well, men can show their nipples. Yeah, absolutely. This is like, but for women, it's like a nipple-free zone. You could tell a man made that rule. Oh, right? men, you made, know all I mean? the, men like, made all the stupid, all the stupid fucking stupid rules. Shit. Like, yeah, you know what? We we love seeing your nipples, but but we don't want to see them all the time. We want to be yeah. surprised. Yes, yeah, surprises. So, no. Well, and even some of the more extreme religions, without mentioning any, women got to be covered head to toe. I mean, like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, if their wrists are showing, you know. Then so. they'll cut that wrist. I don't know what the laws no, that, are. That, that, Sharia. That, that, I don't those know are what that the is. those are the emos. The emos do the oh, cut. They... Hey, what were Fucking we talking emos. about the other day? The auto cut. The uh... oh, uh, well, that was. We might turn that into a bit. Yes. Yeah. So clothing. That yeah, auto, uh, emo clothing that auto cuts when when it yeah. detects sadness. <laughs> yep. The sadness detection. <laughs> but it yeah. has to. De- yep. Yeah, but we're still working on it because <laughs> mm-hmm. right now it detects the uh, sadness of people around you. And you just don't want random cutting. <laughs> it's malfunctioning, so people are just getting cut all the time. Just because yeah. the world is such a sad fucking place. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm going to bring it up again. That fucking meme, that uh, confession bear meme about Vader I showed you today. You're going to have to explain it to people. This is... that will make no sense to the anybody best. listening. It, this, it's a confession bear, and a confession bear is like a, a meme from Reddit or Imgur. And it's basically this sad-looking bear making confessions. And this one confession bear said that my favorite part of Star Wars was when Darth Vader lost his shit and choked out a co-worker during a staff meeting. <laughs> that's just that's <laughs> it's, good wording there. And it's yeah. right. I mm-hmm. mean, it's exactly how it went down, but just to hear it yep. like that. <laughs> I'm laying in bed last night. I am laughing my ass off. And Brenda's <laughs> like, what in the fuck is wrong with you? Mm-hmm. I'm like, babe, it's, it's luck. She reads, she goes, okay, it's funny, but it's not that funny. I said, well, look at the cats falling down the stairs. That's funny. Cause the cat's like, God fucking damn it. I've seen that. I've seen that other one with a, with a cat falling down the stairs too, where it's like every fucking time. And it kind of goes with some of the shit that happens in life. What? Oh, oh, here we go. You're wrapping this cat falling down the steps into something. Well, it Much can, greater it than can, it's... Uh, uh, that could be an amalgam for shit going south or... Not, uh, 
Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with an amalgam. Okay, amalgam. Though, amalgam should be like a, con- a have to be a composition of your problems. Because mm-hmm. like when you have a dream and you have uh, um, a tornado in your dreams, right? Yeah. I think you had a tornado dream a week ago. Just well, that a while ago, but yeah, I yeah, remember. That tornado it. is an amalgam of a myriad of things in your life, right? So you got to figure out what what that is. I don't think um, classifying dreams and what they mean is your your fort. <laughs> <My> <laughs> Yeah, I'm still going to call I, it forte. Yeah, uh, apparently forte is not how you're supposed to say that. You're supposed to say fort. That's not your fort. <laughs> That's but, not your fort. And you know, and the thing is, he, uh, Carlin was right about the uh, descriptive nature of that. Yeah, uh, or the de- definitive nature of fort or forte. But the thing is, everybody uses it as forte. Yeah. So me saying fort made no sense. You know right. What I mean, like it, makes, it just sounds so weird. Exactly. It's kind of like in a in a. In a world gone insane, the sane man is the anomaly. <laughs> what? Say that again. In a world gone insane, mm-hmm. the sane man is the anomaly. Ah, I like it. Yep. You know, so it's, you know, great. Yeah, I'm, I'm pronouncing forte incorrectly, mm-hmm. or uh, I'm, cr- I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pronouncing fort correctly. Yeah. But if the rest of the world calls it forte. Yeah, then it morphs. Well, then now I'm. I'm the anomaly. Car- Carlin got a little jaded in <clears throat> late in his career. Jaded? Yeah. Oh. Real jaded. Yeah, that's the understatement of the year. He got fucking viciously uh, caustic. Yeah. Uh, I, I loved him, though. I mean, I, I really liked him. But after a while, his, uh, his, his comedy became just so vitriolic. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could tell he just hated the establishment and everything it represented. It wasn't and, even really comedy. It was like he was just having a... Spoken word. Yeah. Like... Uh, he was just venting. You know, another... Uh, spoken. Speaking of spoken word, mm-hmm. that kind of branches into comedy occasionally, but Henry Rollins, have you listened to any of his... Oh, absolutely, yeah. God. He's been doing that for a long time. I know, and he does it right. He, he never... is an interesting fellow. I learned a lot <laughs> about him when he was on Rogan's podcast. He, uh, he writes every single event he does down in a journal. Ever since he started... Before Black Flag, writes every it's, event down in a journal. Like, yep. What do you so mean? this date, this time, oh, this he writes location, things. Oh, like events that he's. Yep. This is who we played with. He he has them all cataloged. So people are people go up to him and they say, "I saw you back in '82 with these two bands in Texas," and he's like, "Wasn't there? Well, how, how do you know? What do you mean? Like, no, I was in I was in Memphis. Yeah, because he's because he has it all cataloged. Wow, all that's pretty it, cool, yeah. and kind of. Uh, you know, kind of crazy. Yeah, he's he, a he's he's kind of a nutty workaholic. Like he, uh, they had to tell him to tour less because if he had it his way, he'd be on the road three sixty five. Wow! And now is he married with kids? And no, all that? nope. He doesn't even ah. have a girlfriend. Nothing. Like he he doesn't. He's a big time loner. He wow. just listens to albums and. Yeah, I could see. I wonder it. if uh, that remember that movie was it called Henry? Mm, I'm sure he's had stuff made after him. I don't remember it though. No, no, no. The the movie where he played the uh I thought I think you watched it with me where he was Yes, he, he was Kane. Yeah, he was Kane. Yeah. He was Kane. Yep. That was you know, I've seen a lot of movies with Henry Rollins. Yeah. And usually when you see a movie with Henry Rollins, you're like, Oh, big groan. <laughs> I think it was called Henry, wasn't it? I don't think it no, was. No, 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 no. I'm thinking something of, else, I'm, I'm yeah. juxtaposing hardcore Henry with yeah. this one, which was also a very interesting movie, but yeah, very uh, weird. He never died. Yeah. That's the name of the movie. He never died. He yeah. never died. Yeah. Um, that's probably his best role. Yeah. Because well, I, that's, he's really good in Sons of Anarchy. He had a really good role. He was on one season of that. He was a white supremacist. He played a really, really good bad guy. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. I never saw the. I, I think I want, we watched like three episodes of uh, the show. And yeah. I just couldn't get into it. Not that it's a bad show; it just wasn't my piece of the pie. It has a, it had its ups and its downs. It's, it, it, the ending of it was fucking awful. I'm sorry if anybody listening really liked the ending to that. Good for you, Chad. I know you like the ending. I don't get it. It's just so, they turned it into something it didn't need to be. What would you? What would be your favorite show series finale? Not a season uh, you finale. Know, it's, it's crazy. It, so this is really old, um, and I never, I haven't even seen all the episodes of New Heart. New Heart, but fucking New Heart hands is down, by is far the best. the best ending ever crafted. <clears throat> it 
Yeah, because he, he was on two shows. People don't realize yeah, he that. Was he was on Bob Newhart and with then, Suzanne Plachette in the very beginning. Mm-hmm. And what was the other show he was and on? And then Newhart. It was just called Newhart. There we go, yeah, because it flashed back to the other show, and the one show was all a dream. Yeah, uh, it, it was, was just crazy. great because he, he walks out the door because if everybody wants to sell the country club, mm-hmm. he doesn't want to. So he's like, fine, you know what? Fuck it, we'll sell it. If that's what you guys want to do and wreck our lives, go for it. And that's not how Newhart would have been like, <clears> well, like, you know, I mean... I guess we could, you know, we could keep, we could keep. No, but this it was out of, I, I, out of character because he was actually upset. Oh, yeah, and he he goes to walk out the door, and as he opens the door, and he's he's talking back to the family, you, way in the distance, you hear, Whoar! and you know, because I guess back in the day, people would yell four mm-hmm. when they're hitting the ball, and all of a sudden, whap, he gets hit in the head with the ball, and he kind of collapses. The family rushes to him, fade to black. They still say four when they're going to hit somebody with a ball. When they're going to hit. Only yeah, when they plan yeah, on hitting someone? Yeah. Four. No, like when it's in the air and it starts heading <clears throat> toward a person, they yell four. Why do they say four? I don't know where that came from. I, I mean, yeah. is it the number four or like I, four and aft? I don't know. Yeah, we'll I have to know. look that up. Yeah. But anyway, the lights go down. And then when the lights come back up, he's in bed from the old... Bob Newhart show with Suzanne Plachette, and it's the same old same 70s set. style They're wearing the same bed. shit. Yeah. And he kind of wakes up, and he's like, my God. he Because he, he turns on the bed lamp, and then the audience just loses their fucking shit, mm-hmm. which was just cool. He's back on the old show, and the, the new Bob Newhart show was all a dream. All a dream. And, and, Susan, so and he wakes well up, done. and uh, he says, oh, God, I had the weirdest dream. And Suzanne Plachette's like, well, what do you mean? And he's like, well, I... I dreamt that I was married to this beautiful blonde woman, and I owned a country club, and we had a couple of kids, and blah, blah, blah. And, and he goes, oh, I'm glad it was just a dream. And so they go back, they turn the lights off, and they lay down. And all of a sudden, she turns her light back on and says, tell me more about this beautiful blonde. Yep. Cue credits. <laughs> that was so great, man. It was, New yeah. Heart was so fucking awesome. What a great show. You know, one of my biggest letdowns as uh, series finales go would have to be Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, I, I don't even know how that ended. <laughs> You, you're okay. Go not for knowing. it. What, I mean, what was it? Was it? Ju- it was. They went home. They just went they home. They just left. Huh? You know, and they had a lot of poignant moments and salient commentary and yada yada blah blah. blah. And then bleh, they all went home, and it was just that was it. Boring. Because uh, that that show was so cool. John Lithgow was hilarious. He was hilarious, but yeah, that was, was uh, very what, very what? sad. Yeah, that. Trying to think of she didn't turn out to be much after that. And Jane they got Curtin? the squinty guy. No, Jane Curtin did. I'm talking the the, the tall the daughter. uh Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The alien. Uh she she didn't uh, do much after that, but I don't know what it was about her. Yeah. I kinda had a Oh, did you? A bone roamer on that one. And then and, the, and she's another one. What is it with me and the weird looking women? I, <laughs> I don't know. I just uh Joan Cusack. Yeah, I don't get uh, that at all. The Rhodes. What was her name? Uh Oh uh, no! Her it was, her name was uh, something plain. The yeah, chi- the chick from the chick from Animotion, the, Animotion. the early lead singer from Animotion. This is a band that came that released the song "The Year I Was Born." Okay, <laughs> yes. the '84 was when that song came yeah, out. But it's just, it's a, and I don't know. Maybe it's because I think you don't have to be beautiful to turn me on. Mm-hmm. You you just got to be a little fucked up. Yeah, yeah. You gotta not talk <laughs> yeah. dirty, baby. If you want to impress me, you can't be too flirty, baby. I know how to undress me. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, J- dude, John Cusack. How, how are you into John Cusack? I don't, I don't get that. I don't at know all. I and the thing is, not all of Joan Cusack because, like, she had um, in the later years of her TV stuff, she had this TV show. I think it was called Joan, and. Um, <laughs> Joan. Yeah. And I think it lasted maybe a season or part of a season, but she was kind of a, she'd gotten a little frumpy. Okay. So I'm kind of glad mm-hmm. it never happened with her and I. Oh, oh, you guys had a, you had an option to be with I'm Joan sure. Cusack. Well, seven degrees of separation, baby. Anything can happen. Yeah. But uh, no, like uh, Joan Cusack, uh, Gross Point Blank. Yeah. You're a big, she, big when, fan of that. Oh, love that fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Great movie. Uh, but not Joan Cusack in. He- um, my Blue Heaven. Yeah, you're also in, uh, what was her name? She's in Scrooged. Oh, she had the really high oh, voice. yeah. You're yeah. a fan of hers. I don't remember yeah. her name. Um, oh, I, I, if, you know, if we weren't, if I had brought it up, I'd know her name. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I can look it up. No, she was also in um, uh, Prince's Bride. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, was it don't answer the strange when a stranger calls. That was, uh, that was the one where, uh, babysitters at home. She was really young at the time and, uh, she's a babysitter and, uh, she gets a call from this guy who says, are the children okay? Have you checked in the children lately? And, and basically there's a killer in the house. Oh, hold on. Oh, that just happened. Hey, I love this song. That's this is great. That, this, is, this is why we plan ahead. I don't think that ended up on the uh, recording, but you sure be about fu- that? It'll be funny if it did. No, that didn't actually. Carol Kane is Carol that Kane. Carol actually. Kane. Yeah, and back in the day, she was. I don't know, man. She, oh, Transylvania Six Five Thousand. That was when I first mm. saw her. Jeez, never even heard of that. Jeff Goldblum, um, the guy Ed Ed Begley Jr. Ed Begley Jr. Yeah, okay. you've seen him. Trust me. All right. Um, but you know who uh, Jeff Goldblum is? Yeah. Okay. Very young guys. They're at this hotel in, in Transylvania or something like that. And uh, her and, um, oh, God, it was a dude from um, Laugh-In. I'm forgetting his name. Henry something? Whatever. But he's the butler, head butler of the place, and she's like the head maid, whatever. And she's just this crazy fucker. And she's always walking up to him and says, I love you. Oh, that, and her, you, honey. She says that? Yeah. Oh, and God, like, and her at, high-pitched at one, voice. At one point, she jumps on his back. She goes, I love you. He goes, I'm going to kill you. That's why I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, she always played a twisted character. Yeah, yeah. she was bent. She hit, she got to hit Bill Murray in the face with a toaster. Like, in Scrooge. In Scrooge. Gotcha. Yeah, I think we should have a contest. A uh, contest. Like, like a radio contest? Like, well, we could pretend we have listeners. And we get Bill Murray to come on the show, and he hits the winning contestant in the face with a toaster. See, I like this. This is a. This is a. These are great ideas. Um, and you know, there's just one little caveat. I don't have a toaster. Oh. And neither do you. So. Yeah. Hey, but remember, we got a special it. guest. Hopefully, showing up. Yeah. Well, he's got about eight to nine minutes. Well, you know, I, I, I I'm not going to tweet him again. I don't want to. Be so fucking eager. So you're the one who was tweeting him, like, what makes you think he's showing up? Well, it's just a feeling. Did he say yes? He didn't really say anything. Oh, but he didn't say no. He didn't say no. You know, and you got to have dreams. You know, you got to believe something can happen. Anything can happen. I mean, you know. Okay. It's yeah, That's true. Uh, well, I'm um, watching the driveway. From where you're sitting. I have driveway vision. You have driveway vision. <laughs> Jesus. That's so awesome. <laughs> It'd just be the lamest <laughs> yeah. superpower. You could, no matter where you are in I the world. I can see my driveway. You could always see your driveway. I can see all driveways. <laughs> oh, God. All driveways. That's a bizarre form of uh, uh, not impotence, but omnipotence. Yeah, omnipotence. Yeah. Which is kind of. Omnipresence. Uh, um, 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 impotence. Everybody oh. has a soft dick. <laughs> That'd be a crazy power. You oh. just point at somebody. You have a soft dick now. What? Come on. No, if I if I I'd, I'd want the orgasmatron. Oh yeah. I would just want that because you could just find that, you know, because where you would use that. I mean, a lot of guys are like yeah, I'd go to the bar, find the hot chick, make her come right there. Uh, no, fuck that. Yeah. You go to the mall. Oh my god! Late Saturday afternoon. This is awful. And you wait to see somebody just being a complete dick to a store clerk. Mm -hmm. That's the person you hit (laughs) with the (laughs) orgasmatron right there, and you put it on eleven. I love. You're not using it to to better yourself. You're using it for the trolls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Uh, like, can you see there? Look, man, I am not going to play. What happened? I have to go to the bathroom. (laughs) It's a run. I know, but it would never look like in uh, what was it, The Matrix Two, when uh, the uh, Mon, Mon, what was he called, the Frenchman dude? The Frenchman dude. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah when he's yeah. doing the dessert thing, and the girl's like, uh, "It's a really good dessert." If you get my drift. Oh yeah 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 yep, yeah. Gotcha. I remember that now. She's the one who betrayed him. No no no. She was just sitting at the table. She was just a, it's just just a, a pleb just sitting out there. And, oh. And I he was uh, he was going through this uh, big spiel about cause and effect and all this fun yeah. shit. He's saying a bunch of Frenchy shit, like we, yeah. we, Monsieur, Monsieur, <laughs> and we, oui, we, oui, and sometimes. Bonjour. Ooh, Bonjour. And Nothing. Chef Boyardee. That's the real, no, 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 That that's Italian. Boyardee. 
Boyardee what? I don't know. I'm just saying things that sound un-American. Un- heavy. Un-American. He's probably long dead from all the sodium. Chef Boyardee? Yeah. Oh, probably. He was a big guy on the can. Chef Boyardee. That's how he said his name. Oh, uh, the driveway's still empty, but oh, Trump. Oh, sweet. Oh, God, here we go. No, just Trump. Trump. I mean, what else do you got to say? There's shit going on. <clears throat> My favorite thing this week is Trump uh, cuts, what, $1.5 billion from <laughs> uh, the Department of the Interior, but then donates his $75,000 paycheck to the uh, forest uh, Department of Forestry or something like that. Yeah. But the classic is the look on the dude's face. The recipient's who's accepting face. The check. He's just like... You fucking tool. You fucking asshole. You <laughs> cut most of our budget and you come in here and give me 47 grand or whatever Thank it was, 60 grand. for your paltry donation. Yeah, what a piece of shit. Yeah, so I'm not, uh, I'm not really saying anything negative uh, about Trump, but on the same token, I'm not saying much of anything else. Yeah, it's <clears throat> so, all going to shit. Well, it is interesting, if nothing else. I mean... It's, inter- it's entertaining. It is entertaining. Uh, you know what I, I'm entertained with is just how it looks like Sean Spicer is kind of starting to lose his shit. Well, he's the one having to juggle all this. He's got a, a hand grenade, two lit torches, and he's he's standing in a whole puddle of gasoline. Right. Yeah. While showering in kerosene. Yeah. So that that, that poor time. guy. Yeah, he's got a uh, he's got he's got a. You know who we haven't seen lately hmm. is uh, Kellyanne. Uh, there's probably a reason for that. No, She's we haven't seen fucking crazy. Kelly, what, else, what else has happened? Because we, you know, I, I, I don't think Ben's showing up. Really? No. Well, uh, we ben, were going to have Ben Affleck on the show. Yeah. But it uh, looks like he's not going to make it. Yeah. Um, I've I've been messaging him or t- well, tweeting him, but oh well. Maybe we'll we'll try to get him on next month or something. But he's um, he's got a busy schedule working on you know all those great movies he's in. Oh, yes, he's in quite a few. Well, The Accountant was a good movie. Yeah. But uh, another thing that... Uh, that was sarcasm. He's not in that many oh, good you're, movies. Oh, you're being that guy. Um, yeah. He's in Batman. What about uh, Tommy Lahren? Uh, the blonde Republican mouthpiece, the uh, right-wing mouthpiece that uh, kind of... Oh, God. Uh, and she was. She used to be really, really, really awesome, but then she became just... I don't know. I think she became a tool for the, the alternative right... She got kicked off of, was it O'Reilly show? No, um, Glenn Beck's Glenn uh, The Beck Blaze. Show. Yeah. Because she said she was pro-choice. Because she was pro-choice. That's how petty these fucks, these reds versus blue warmongers are. Oh, blew are. me away. I mean, because yeah. she's pro-choice. Are you serious? Yeah, pro-choice. Get off my show. Because a woman has an opinion that goes against the uh, good old boys club well, now we have to just shit all over her and cast her down from the mountain. I got an idea. When we're talking about abortion and whether it should be legal or not, we should have a room full of white-haired white men to decide that. It makes perfect that sense. That makes perfect sense. Let's write it down. Stamp perfect it. Sense. Stamp it. Let's uh, drink whiskey and talk about black people in negative ways. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's, you know, it's just stupid. Yeah. Um, what... Is going on in our government right now. Yeah, it doesn't make any Especially sense. Especially with some of these uh, uh, career senators and... Speaking of those career fucking senators, how about that law they just passed where our ISPs can oh. sell our fucking information? Net neutrality. And guess Bye-bye. what? Go out there and look because they got their claws deep. I-, I was looking. We're in Minnesota. I looked at... There were three. Eric Paulson was one of them. $65,000 he's gotten from special interests to vote on that pill. And it goes even deeper than that. It goes deep to like uh, really, really local people that like shit we could run for. They're getting five or eight grand. Maybe we should it's, run for office. Yeah, and get paid out and be but assholes. But you know what? Pornhub's got our back. Yeah, porn. Yeah, it's the porno site that has to come in and be the moral. Yeah. Pornhub has come in and they said that they're going to encrypt uh, our sessions, good. which is good because I don't want them to know about my my midget mm-hmm. gangbang. Um, porn, Keep going. Uh, murder spree. Uh, Bald headed. Incestual. Inc- oh, yeah. What's with the incest? Yeah. Oh, we're going to go a little long here because I got a fucking rant here. <laughs> I like porn as as much as the next red blooded individual who likes porn, okay? Mm-hmm. Why is it every other fucking clip is brother finds That's sister, clip with a P. Mother. 
uh, and daughter, mother and son, father and daughter. Do- what is... Yeah, there's I, a lot of incest videos. It doesn't who, make any sense. Who said, hey, we should uh, just turn porn into incest stuff? I love how we're like turning into porn snobs. Like, that's a bad wine. Pinky out, porny. <laughs> Pinky out. Pinky out, porny. Yeah, that's or funny. Or as John, um, John Oliver would say... Pinky out, pony. Yeah, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> oh, he's great. No, I just don't get it. What? Uh, so, any um, any porn producers out there or uh, aggregate? Just yeah, find a aggregate, find a man with a ponytail. Probably no, a porn producer. The porn aggregate website guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, because you name these videos. When you get these videos, they're just called uh, Clip Zero Zero Five, Clip Zero Zero Six, <laughs> Clip Zero Zero Seven, and then one of you is like, uh, "Hold on, uh, step." Sister, fucks, horse, wild brother. Gargles dads. Gargles dads balls while getting <laughs> anal from mom. Jesus. I mean, it's like the aristocrats <laughs> joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't you know? make any sense. It's like we're desensitized to regular pornography now. We got to kick it up a notch. Right, right. Yeah. So we have all this incest pornography, but incest is against the law. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, I just don't get it. So that's our take on porn. Uh, so I'm I'm glad we ended on that note. We did. Uh, uh, this week's show is brought to you by. Um, it's brought to you by uh, Tenoy. I got nothing. Tenoy. Tenoy. Yeah. I thought it was by the Lizard Speaker Company. The Lizard Speaker Company. Yes. Yeah, those it, they aren't going to be in business very long. That's a terrible idea. Well, That's a lizards, terrible name. Lizards have voices. They have needs. They have rights. Lizards do have rights. You know if you break. Some of you can break their tail off. This ship is sinking. It's bail out. Bail out. out. The ship pull is sinking. Up. You're too low. You're too low. You're but, too low. You're too low. You're too low.